America is unmatched by any developed democracy for the depths and extent of its poverty, but it's also not inevitable. My name is Matt Desmond. I'm an associate professor of sociology and social studies at Harvard University. I study poverty in America, mainly from the ground level. So I'm an ethnographer, which means if I want to understand a problem or a community, I spend as much time with those folks or in that community as I can. What I've done to study eviction is I moved into a trailer park in Milwaukee and I lived there for several months. And then I rented a rooming house in the inner city and lived there for about 10 months. And from those two places met families going through an eviction and landlords doing the evicting. I analyzed hundreds of thousands of eviction records, elected, collected millions of 911 calls, and tried to use all these different kinds of data to, to formulate a, a new picture of poverty and housing in the American city today. The effects of eviction on families are many and they're multidimensional. Families lose their homes, their communities, the children lose their schools often. Often families lose all their possessions. They're either piled on the street or they're taken to a moving company where um, they have to keep up payments and some families just can't. When I started this project, I thought job loss would be a big cause of eviction. And it is, but eviction is also a big cause of job loss. It's a consuming, stressful event that it can really compromise people's work performance and it often kind of leads them um, uh, to be fired. And then there's the effect that eviction has on someone's spirit. In one study, we found that mothers who were evicted had higher rates of depression two years removed from the event. And that has effects on children. The majority of poor renters spend at least 50% of their income on housing cost, and at least one in four poor renting families spend at least 70% of their income on housing cost. The problem of affordable housing has become so deep and entrenched in our low-income communities today that eviction, instead of being rare, has become ordinary. The prevalence of eviction, how common it is in low-income communities, is leaving a deep and jagged scar on the next generation, and it's something that we'll all have to face sooner or later. I think the fellowship gives me incredible license to think big and think differently. There's a lot of hope and there's a lot of capacity to do something major about this problem. And I think we as a country are having a national conversation about inequality and about justice and about really asking hard questions about who we want to be. And this fellowship allows me to join that conversation and have a voice in that conversation um, in a way that's, that's innovative and meaningful and big. And, and try to make a difference with the work I do.